Hello everyone and welcome to NASCAR E2 Career Mode. Yes, we are back after a, like over a month of being gone. You see the playoff system looks a little bit different now, but I decided we're going to try to end this season before NASCAR Heat 3 comes out, so then we can start career mode on there. So you see my rivals, we're resuming the series at Bristol just a few races before the playoffs, so we're going to get right into it here and um, see uh, if we can get another win before the playoffs start. Hello, everyone. Tonight, NASCAR roars back to the last great coliseum for the Bass Pro Shops NRA Night Race. Bone-rattling hits and heart-stopping finishes are both hallmarks of one of the most popular races in NASCAR. And if history is any indication, we're guaranteed to get another epic battle tonight. Colossus is ready. The drivers are ready. Let's get ready to go racing on PRN. All right, there you have it. We are ready to go green from last place in Bristol. The green flag has come out, and we are underway with three races to go in the playoffs, or until the playoffs. It's been quite a while since I've done this series. I almost just kind of um, got so busy where I just stopped making videos for over a month now, and then um, I decided that I decided why well, I decided that we can't be doing this anymore I want to keep making videos so we are back and I have the all of next week off so I'm excited for that to make some videos hopefully every day and then roll them out roll them out over the next few weeks but first stage here is 30 laps right under Ty Majeski three wide with him and Michael McDowell we make a little bit of contact on his left side and certainly got a little very loose from that but we managed to hold on Hopefully we can get into the top 20 by the end of stage 1. That should set us up well for the rest of the race. As we now make a little bit of contact with Brendan Gone, He tries to come down, but we were able to keep ourselves under him so he could not make that happen. We got our teammate William Byron up in front of us as I almost wrecked the car. Pushing up to Chris Bush. Brendan Gaughan is going to stick it in on the inside. He's going to force it three wide with us in the middle. We're going to have to send it in here in turn one. That's what, exactly what we do under our teammate, William Byron. We clear him. I kind of pushed him up into the wall. Out of turn four, we now have completed five laps in this race, and we've worked our way into the top 30, which isn't great. We send it way in deep here into turn three, past Cole Witt, and maybe clear Austin Dillon by the time we get it to turn four. We do clear him. We might have to pull a few uh, slide jobs here. Under Matt DiBenedetto. Ooh, it's a little close out of the turn, but we do keep off of him, and we clear him going into the corner now as we have a chance to pass Michael McDowell. But she will get the run off the corner, but we will easily be able to make that pass anyways. Cole Witt tries to come back at us, but he was not able to now as we come to just uh, seven, approaching six laps to go in stage one. You see we have caught Trevor Bain in a little bit of battle with him as we make a little bit of contact on his bumper and actually get him loose. He gets up in the wall. We do clear him for the P13. So now we'll be coming to five to go in the stage. As you can see, we have caught lap traffic now and we're trying to find our way through them. Our first target here is Chase Cabri as Keselowski just plowed right through me because he's a rival. Alright, we know how it's going to be with them. Just kind of fall in line behind him for the moment. Got on the apron, that's going to screw me up. Oh my gosh, we are lucky we didn't crash. Three wide with Cabri and Haley Deegan. Looks like she backed out. Cabri stays there. Out of turn four, just three laps to go in stage one. Closing in on the two car now. We give the slightest bump to Harrison Burton and then duck in under him behind the two car. Just two to go on the stage. We make a lot of contact with the 51. We're obviously likely not going to get stage points here. Clear of Majeski on the exit. 
Now under DJ Kennington, fellow Canadian, we got the Penske cars making a lot of contact here. We're going to slide up into the 22. We keep it off of him for the moment. He tried to fill that hole that was there, and we filled it for him instead. Into turn three for the final time in stage one, because Zalowski looks like he's going to hold us off for 12th, and we're going to get 13th in stage one, which isn't terrible considering where we started. And we had a slow start to the beginning of the stage, but... Um, now we've worked our way up into 13th, so no one's pitting, so obviously we won't, and we'll see what we can do here for the beginning of Stage 2. Alright, green flags back out in Bristol. Logano changed lanes way before the line, but no black flag because the game is um, still got the 1990s technology. Going to do my best to get a top 10 in this stage, maybe even a top 5. Huge run on the outside for the 2 car. I mean, the outside is pretty strong here, but um, the inside, obviously, you can just dive it in and slide up in front of the other car to clear them and just ruin their momentum on the top. But you might see a little mix of both. When I'm a, by myself on the track, I'm definitely going to be running the high line or as right now I'm running the high line Logano just about got wrecked by Trevor Bain we're gaining nothing right now as we had, we got uh, I can count at least three rivals in front of me we got Kozlowski, Chase Elliott, I'll make that four I see Truex, Almondinger on the inside of Elliott and now we gotta be a little careful here Oh, Eric Jones, he did not want to back out. We do clear him going into turn one now behind Clint Boyer, who will give us stage points if we can get ahead of him. We dive it in on the middle lane. Try to arc it to the bottom the best I can for the best exit. He certainly had the run out of the corner. We're going to send it in once again. Try to slide up in front of him, make a little bit of contact. But we do clear him out of turn two. A little bit of aggression from Kizilowski over there on that pass with Almendinger. Gonna send it in on Almendinger. He's another rival. We gotta be careful. When I slide him in front of him, he hits me. I think he just made my corner better, so I mean, I can't really complain. Man, these rivals, this is. At the beginning of the season, we were planning to have no rivals, and here I am now with a ton. And going into the playoffs this is not going to go well for me. But uh, we come to just a handful of laps to go in stage two. You see I worked my way up to six uh, right behind Kyle Busch. Kozlowski has continued to climb through the field just like uh, I myself have. Which is five to go in the stage. Now we have a chance to get a top five. Which was um, what I said I would really like to do in this stage. Clear of DJ Kennington easily. Now we have another rival here with Martin Truex Jr. Try to send it up his inside. Three wide in front of us. Two lapped cars just don't want to move. It's Matt Benedetto and Ty Majeski. Don't mind me. Man, we have a good chance here. Hamlin with possible run on my inside. We barely clear him. I cut him off big time and it screwed up my corner anyways. And that will allow him to get to my inside. He makes contact. Now we send it in deep. Right past Matt Benedetto. Just about getting the wall out of four, but two to go in stage two. Looks like Larson second, Harvick first, and now Hamlin's going to try to pass me again. I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, I kept it off. Now Chase Elliott's behind me. That's a little concerning. Oh, he, he, we might have a hit coming to us. Yep, he's going to hit me, and he's going to wreck himself. That's going to end the stage. He just killed himself. What an idiot. Fifth, okay. Can't say I'm surprised. It's Chase Elliott. Enough said. I would in NASCAR Heat Three crew mode. I'm not driving Hendrick just because I don't want to be teammates with Chase Elliott. I've already decided that. Or maybe if I do drive for Hendrick, it'll be no. I changed my mind. I won't be in his car because I can't stand him. Green flag black back out anyways here in the last stage of the race. You see, we overtook the cars that beat us. We got ahead of Larson and Kyle Busch, but uh, Kevin Harvick, I think. 
is yeah right on our outside. Larson's hitting me because he is also a rival, unfortunately. You do see some guys uh, switched up their strategy a bit. We got Bubba Wallace up here, David Reagan. You see Chase Elliott up front. I think Hamlin's up front. So they must have took uh, either less fuel or they just took two tires. But now that we we know that we are ahead of the fastest cars on the track, which certainly could give us an opportunity to uh, get the lead eventually here and pull away and get the victory, hopefully. We've only got one win, and we really need to get another one here. We're leading the overall standings, so we're going to get a lot of playoff points. I think I've almost locked that up, so we're going to get a lot of playoff points no matter what. Harvick to my inside, though he hits me right in the left side. I'm not sure what you're doing. Don't mind me. I don't like being around that nine car. Oh my gosh, I had to check up so much at a turn four. If Harvick was a rival, he would have just drove right through me. And we're going to get real close to the nine, three wide in the middle. I'm backing out. Larson just killed the wall behind me. This is a terrible idea. I'm watching that 42 in my mirror because I know exactly what's coming if he gets to me. And here it comes right now. Okay, he didn't make it. That's surprising. I'm going to try to clear the 9. I'm not going to slide up in front of him, though, because I know what will happen. Well, we let the fastest car get around us, so that's exactly what I wanted to do. Clear the 20. We're going to slide up in front. We just need to get past that four car, but now as we come to lap 87 of 125, we have Kevin Harvick right in front of us still. P4 now, Chase Elliott's going to give me a shot to the bumper, send me into the corner deep. It might actually pay off, and here comes another hit from him. He might wreck himself. He just wrecked himself again. The exact same way. He just took out about two cars. What are you doing? He is driving so stupid. But now it gives us a chance to win this race because we're going to be restarting here in fourth with one rival uh, in front of us of Brad Kozlowski and behind me we've got Larson here with 35 laps to go now. Kyle Busch, are you? Oh yeah, Kyle Busch is a rival too. I forgot about, oh. He just wrecked himself trying to wreck me again. I don't understand this. Rivals are trying to wreck me three times now and they've wrecked themselves all right we'll be restarting fourth again here behind the two car green flag is back out 31 to go at the line gonna send it into the inside I've seen a hole between me and Harvick so I might as well take advantage of it while I can I want to win oh, a little bit of contact with the two car Got to be careful around him. I don't want to pull a slide job on him because he'll just ram me right in the back. He's not giving up. He's got a lot of damage, but that doesn't matter in this game. Yeah, because defending really well. It really hurt my, my uh, momentum out of turn two, but I'm going to send it in deep again. We might clear him out of turn four. We do, and he had to check up. I'm surprised he checked up for me. And I just blew it. Oh, we're okay. Now we just got to pass one more car, and that is Denny Hamlin, last year's major rival for us. But this season he's been really good with us, so we need we just need to keep it that way. Harvick did get past the two car, and that's really the main driver I'm focused on right now is holding off the four car. Man, we're not really gaining on the 11 right now. But we still have 27 to go. We we certainly gain on the entry because I drive the entry way different. But he pulls away on exit and Harvick. He's just gaining everywhere. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to have to defend really well against him. I think we have the best entry out of any car right now. We certainly gained a little bit on the 11 there. And now we close up to his bumper. But now Harvick's on my bumper. He lost a lot of momentum. And now I'm going to send it in right up to the inside of the quarter panel on the 11 car. He's going to hold me off that time. 25 to go in Bristol. We have a chance. He defended really well. He held the middle. 
If they run the middle, I can't make the bottom work. They need to run the top for me to... Yeah, he's doing it again. I can't make the bottom work when he does that. And this is going to kill my whole corner. Inside. Wow, I think we just blew it. Shocker. And now they're trying to drive away. Harvick, not a great exit. Don't know what he's trying to do there. We're just going to have to hope Hamlin defends really well on Harvick as well. But, I mean, we're already right here on him. He, oh my gosh, coming through. Don't mind me. We might have just made a new rival because he's going to wreck in the back. I don't know if that was my fault or not. I kind of drove through him. That's only the first wreck I've caused. Yeah, the three were because the rival was trying to wreck me. Ready? Be out here. Have a good day. Green flag Green back out now. 19 laps to go. We have a chance. I know Harvick's not actually that far back. I, I would assume he still has a fast car, to be honest. Hamlin, though, destroys me on that restart. We're going to send it in on the inside once again. He clears me on the exit of turn four. Man, I just want to kind of move him out of the way. But, I mean, it's way too early to even think about doing that. Dive it to the inside once again to the uh, 11. He's going to clear me once again on the exit of four, though. We have to pull a slide job. That's literally, like, my only option if I don't want to move him. Come on. Man, I just cannot get close enough to him on entry. Oh, you know what? He's going to run the middle line, so that's going to... Oh, he pushes up a bit, but it already hurt my corner as we make a little bit of contact with him. I see Truex in the background. He wants to join the party as we send it up the inside again and can't do anything. I'm trying so hard we can make contact. He's going to run the middle. Oh my gosh, I planned on running that specific line. I had to really check up so I didn't run into the back of him. And now the 78 car is here. Don't mind me. Oh, I can't do anything. Still. Running out of time here, and he's going to run that line again. So let's just take the outside and see if we can go. Okay. He, he's not having that. Running out of options here. Seems like turn one, he's running the bottom. Or middle to bottom. We're about, yeah, it looks like he's going to do it again. He is. I'll just try to make the outside work. and But he slides up. And I can't make the outside work when he does that. But that's a wall. So trying too hard. And now we might have dug ourselves in a hole. And we hit the wall again. 12 to go. Come on. Truex is here. Now we come to just 10 to go. And you see the 11 has lost something in his car. Mechanical issue. He's coming to pit road now. And we have now taken the lead over the 11 car with the 78 right behind us. I did I would assume it's some type of mechanical issue, but now we have the lead and we have a chance to win the race here in Bristol. That 78, though, he has run me down. He's a rival. He would certainly have no problem moving me out of the way, and that's exactly what I'm concerned about here with just seven to go. Did I just say seven to go? I don't think it's seven to go. We have eight to go. We're coming to seven to go this time. I do see some lap traffic up to go, uh, up there, and um, I think that's Haley Deegan. I don't think we're going to get there, though. Then again, I think we do, yeah, you know what? I think we are going to get to them, so that could be a factor here before this race is over, but Truex has a run. He's going to go to my inside here with just seven to go. We try to hold him off, but he is really doing good here on the inside. He's going to drive right on past me. We're going to have to send it up the inside. Oh, are you kidding me? I was going to take the lead. Caution is out. And this is going to set up like a four-lap dash right here. Harvick is back. Harvick is in third. This is not over yet. Be ready, ready. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Green flag is back out. Four-lap dash for the win in Bristol. We got McMurray behind me, Harvick, and Truex here. He gets a good run out of turn two. I get in the wall out of turn two. We're going to send it up the inside once again. This is all we can do here. I will move him if I have to. 
I don't have a problem moving a rival, especially if it's uh, Chase Elliott. Oh man. Come to two to go. We might have a chance right here. Nope. He's going to get a big run, a lot of contact at the turn four, but this gives us a chance to slide up in front of him, but I slow down and couldn't even get a chance to clear him. As he clears me, once again at a turn two, going into turn three with another dive up the inside. We are clear for the moment. I decided not to slide up because I didn't want him to wreck me. White flag in the air, a little bit of contact. Oh, Harvick's going to force a three wide on us. We're in the middle for the win here in Bristol. Oh, man. And anyway, I just turned right into the wall. I'm going to force it three wide up the inside. We have a chance. Oh, we're pushing up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, are you, what? AJ Almendinger just won this race, I think. Oh, my gosh, dude. What a finish that was. I'm, I'm pretty sure we just made Harvick a rival. I pushed right up into him and wrecked him. All right, so here's a replay of the final lap. You see, we made a lot of contact with the 78, and then we're going to turn one. I slid up, and the, the four car took full opportunity. He forced the three wide, actually cleared me with no problem, gave himself a great chance to win, but I decided, well, if he wants to do that, I can do that too. And then you see here, I just push up, and I'm full throttle, basically, and I just hit him right into the wall. And the 47 just drives right through the middle and wins the race, and that's not his first win. He won at Daytona. So now he gets another five playoff points. So we just lost a win there. But that's not the first time that's happened, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to have to see how the playoff grid is. You know, Martin Truex Jr. is the only driver in on points right now. And he's second. He, If one more driver wins, he could be knocked out of the playoffs. And he's second in the overall standings. But let's check... Um, the uh, playoff standings right here and we'll also check if we have any new rivals which I'm pretty sure Kevin Harvick would be on that list two races to the playoffs Darlington is next and last season I was going to win that race and then I hit the apron you see we got our rivals here Harvick is now a rival Keselowski is uh, not a rival I thought he was He's just, yeah, I guess he was just racing me like an idiot so here's the standings. We're seventh in the playoff standings, 12 playoff points. Truex with six playoff points, which right now he'll be somewhere around 13th-ish. But that will do it for this episode. Uh, subscribe, like, comment um, if you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time for the Southern 500. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.